Hey guys, Ethereal Leon here, and today, as you can see, Second Amendment. Don't try it on me. Hell yeah. Um, this is the 17th month of Monox, ever since I've been off of the, the liquid. So, yeah. What is it? Um, a year, a year, 17 months. Yeah, 17 months ever since I've been off of Minoxville. 17th month. Been off of Minoxville for Beer Growth Accelerator. And I ain't got long. And my phone is gonna die. So it's gonna go from 5% to 1 in a fucking moment. But um, anyway, guys. So um, uh, let's just say shit hit me. Went to Schittsburg throughout the week and gonna say none of it. I had been basically say do all right, so to speak, but you know, it is what the fuck it is because if you're a man, nobody gives a shit. So, yeah, it is what the fuck it is. So, but anyway, um, so my beard's still here and. I've been rejuvenating my beard with uh, the Viking Sea Mineral Beard Mask. It's actually pretty fucking good. And same with the other products from the Beard Struggle. That's been helping me. Similar like Vo like Minoxville. But it's a beard growth accelerator serum with follicle acceleration matrix. That is different than using uh, Minoxville. Minoxville is a drug and a chemical. What's supposed to help be heart medication somehow but it basically helps grows out thicker hair for hair loss but everybody's been using it for beards i'm one of those people but there were millions that were using it to grow their beard or have their beards thicker which is i mean it's not it's somewhat not natural but it's natural in a way where it wakes up dormant hair follicles. And once you get on Minoxville, you can't get off like early. Depending on your on your genetics. And depending on your genetics is if you got good genetics, your beard will come in quicker. The same way as if you shave and get th and your beard will get thicker. But if you do it with a chemical like Minoxville, um you will have to stay on for a long time. Like that one guy named uh, Duran. His beard, while he was on uh, Minoxville, and he still wasn't connecting me. I was just, I just grew a, a fucking bear. Because I shaved. I, What I did, I clean shaved. And I started applying it to here, all the way down here. First here, just to get the sideburns figure. And I just discovered as my beard's getting fixed, so I applied it all over the place. And look what it's got me throughout m more of my videos. Which I will talk about the differences between shaving, dimmer rolling, same category as for shaving and uh, dimmer rolling. And then you got Minoxidil. Two categories different than one. Well, three categories that are different from each other, that is. But they fit in the same concept of genetics for growing and grooming a thicker beard. So, yeah. I mean, if I would have shaved, you know, every day, either way, my beard will come out somewhat like this, but not really thick. Minoxville made it thick. Man, I know there's people that were, that grew a fucking beard that were a lot bigger than mine, but way fucking thicker. That's a, a buddy of mine that I knew from, uh, back in the day from school. We used to go to the same school together, and that's, uh, so, yeah. But anyway, guys, um,. He grew his beard out at 13 years old, well, 12 to 13 years old as he was shaving. 
And true story, too. Unless people think I'm full of shit and then go fuck yourselves, but it is what it is, but. Like for Coca-Cola, by the way. <clears throat> but, anyway, guys, um, yeah. Genetics is key if you shave to get a thicker beard, which is not a myth. I seen it. Um, myth. Myth. That's a better way of saying it. It's not a myth because I seen it. Um, it's genetics. It, the genetic genetics is key to grow a beard. Whether you shave or Demerol or apply essential oils and shit. So, yeah. Hold on, man. I'm back, guys. But um, anyway, guys. Um, yeah. Genetics is key to shaving, grooming. A, a beard the same way as you groom and apply Minoxidil to help out grow a thicker beard. Genetics is key. In the same way with genetics, if you have stupidly good genetics, like my buddy of mine has, then you don't need to get on Minoxidil. Otherwise, you would fuck up your... Um, you will basically fuck yourself up, like, in the ass to grow a beard at that point. And what I mean by that, um, it affects your hormones, that's number one. And it will also, um, uh, basically, once you apply Minoxidil, and if you get off a early stage of Minoxidil, like, six to a year, Depending how big your beard is, no matter if it's transitioning to terminal, then you some parts of your beard will not grow back. Like right here, I was shaving right here. It, it was right here. Now it's right here because I wanted an angle to edge up my beard line. This little bit is growing back between my mustache right here, as you can see. Right here and here. I shaved right here, it's just for it to get a line started, like here, here, and here, here. But, I don't care about that. I wish it would fill up right here, though. That would be nice, but blonde, it is what it is. But, anyway, guys, um, if you got really good genetics, then you don't need to be on Minoxidil to grow a thicker beard. Like, a thicker beard to where you fucking wipe off paint off from the wall as you just start and fucking painting so yeah but um or if you got somewhat good genetics like i do or not really good genetics i mean i fit between there but if you if i would have shaved over time in the long run then my beard will look somewhat like this but it wouldn't be as thicker as it would be. But for Minoxville, I think this is pretty thick. I went 10 to approximately 15 years of shaving right here. That's what my beard looks like. And I look way older than fucking 19 to 23 right now. I look a lot older. I look like I'm fucking 27 to 30. I mean... Unless I get gray and then I'll look like I'm like in my mid 30s, like 35 to late 30s, 37. I look like I'm in my uh, early 30s and shit. Just for having a bigger beard alone. Like 31, 32. Between there. Check my phone percentage. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um. Either way, um, genetics is key if you are decided to go natural. And either way, using Minoxidil is pretty fucking natural. The drug itself ain't natural, but it's pretty fucking natural. 
but grooming a beard is natural. Shaving, growing a thicker beard, grooming it is natural. Like I said, Minoxville, growing it that way may not seem natural, but it's pretty fucking natural. I mean, some people say, oh, if you use Minoxville, once you use Minoxville, even when you get off, your beard won't stay on. Even if you shave it off, I mean, well, it's pretty fucking natural because my beard's still fucking here. And I was trying to tell my buddy, my buddy of mine, like um, Aaron, but that's why he's full of patches. No offense, Aaron, if you're watching this video, but it is what it is. But yeah, but you gotta be consistent with Minoxidil twice a day, every day. But anyway, guys, um. So, which I will talk about either in the live stream or in the video. See where this phone goes. But anyway, guys, as I feel alone here, signing out. Have a blessed day, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, MeWe, MeWe, um, Discord, etc., etc. And, yeah. PlayStation, Xbox, gotta get a new control for X, uh, not, I already got a control for Xbox, that's working. New control for PlayStation, and I'll see y'all in the next video, God bless, peace out, let's go fucking Brandon, fuck Biden, and I'm out of here.